Welcome back. We're now going to divide up our root node into children, so eight children. Let's do that inside of our octree node code. So up in the constructor is where we're going to work this out. So each child, there's going to be eight. That means we're sort of cutting the cube in half along the X, the Y, and the Z axis, which ends up giving us eight separate cubes. Okay, so we need to calculate, first of all, float quarter equals node bounds dot size. Now, because the size is a cube, you can choose X, Y, or Z to work with. They're all the same. We will divide that by 4.0 F, and then we will create a float for the child length and that will equal node bounds dot size dot y divided by two okay now we need the quarter because that's actually going to be our cube um i'm going to use the term radius again you know what i mean half of it and then the length is actually the real size of it all the full size so vector three which is our child size equals new vector three child length child length child length and then we can create our child bounds so this is the bounding boxes there's going to be funnily enough eight of them so new bounds and there's eight Okay, so uh, child bounds, we're going to declare up the top here because we actually need to access it elsewhere. So it needs to be sort of global within the class. Um, bounds, child bounds. Okay, and now we have to define each single child. So child bounds zero equals new bounds, node bounds, dot center plus new vector three so we're calculating the center of the child so it's going to be offset using our quarter calculations that we've just done okay so we want here the first one will be minus quarter quarter and then minus quarter and then its size will be child size like that Okay, so we've got eight of these to declare, each in basically a different octant of that particular cube and based on these quarter values here being negative or positive. So you want to come up with eight different combinations of negative quarter and positive quarter within these three values here. So I'm going to give you a quick challenge if you like. Pause the video now and go and create the other seven children. When we come back, I'll show you what they are. Welcome back. How did you go with that? Well, I'm not going to type them all out. I'm actually just going to paste them in and then you can compare yours with what I've got here. So yours might not even be in the same order that I've got mine and it doesn't really matter what the order is as long as you've got them and they're all different combinations of minus a quarter and positive a quarter so that you've covered all of the octants. Okay, so that's all we need now in our octree node. So far, we've actually not created any child nodes or children nodes of the root node we're just defining the boundaries of where they might possibly be because we don't want to actually create them unless we need to based on whether there is anything in the um, actual environment in that position so what we'll do now is actually go back into our octree and work out a way to pass through our objects to our octree node. So underneath our constructor, we're going to create a public void add objects, game object array of world objects. And then in here for each game object 
in world objects and we'll pass that through to the root node. So root node dot add object go. So we'll send through one at a time. Now save this in Octree node we're going to create our method for add object. So underneath our constructor we'll go public void add object game object go and then we're going to create a method called divide and add of go the game object all right so we're almost ready to start the tough bit next we have to do some recursion to create nodes and then get them to create nodes and get them to create nodes until we reach some kind of ending position where we'll stop recursing and so I'm going to leave that for the next video because it's going to cover a fair bit but until then um, if your game go straight ahead and watch it otherwise you might want to just brush up on your recursion knowledge uh, so that things don't get a little overwhelming for you and I'll see you in part three. If you'd like to support our work, like us on YouTube, visit our website holistic3d.com, look for our courses on holistic3dlearn.com or support us on Patreon.